All righty. Are we live? I said, are we live? Coming at you with a remix. I know this is something you can get with because we all want cash. We all want to be walking. Here comes my intro. Yo, when it comes to women, I'm selfish. I don't want to share them. I want to be rich so I can own a hammer. Most brothers can't satisfy one. Shucks, give me five and I'll make them all come. Shoot, give me six or seven and I'll be in heaven. But ain't nobody in this world want to give me nothing. To get something, you have to earn it or take it. The ends justify the means, so take it any way you can get it. Don't sweat how, just get it. I want to die and bought to more, but not poor. I want to be chilling with my minions on the eastern shore or the suburb of D.C. Yo, nod your head if you're feeling me. I don't want an apartment or raggy or home. I want five acres so my seed can roam the prairie. And I can have parties and mad cook out. See, that's what I'm talking about. Some say I'm never satisfied that you, but you can always be better. So realize, wake up and smell some coffee. I'm getting that man joke off me. I refuse to label all my life as I broke. That's not a joke, but that's the lifestyle of my black folks. Unless you got talent, and that's no guarantee. You got to have smart, a lot of heart, and that describes me, yo. I wanna make a million, have money spilling, God willing, I'm gonna make it. And no man, no government or army is ever gonna take it. Yo, I ain't trying to front, money is what I want. I wanna be rich so when I come outside I see oak trees, not bottles, bums, and bags of debris. Yo, I need to make a million. I know y'all feeling it. Yo, if you ain't down, you can't get with this. Check out this hit. Check out the rounds I spit. I'm setting it off, doing my own thing, blasting off. I'm my own boss. I want to make a million and be filthy rich. I want gold. I want a roll, but I'm not willing to sell my soul. I can't throw a football. Don't possess the height to dunk. Can't box like Tyson, but I ain't no punk. I want to be iced down, surrounded by girls. I want to tame the world. Be a community activist on a nationwide level. I advise to keep me out of trouble because it follows me. Wherever I go, because when I broke roads, I would try to slow down. I rather the reason for the stars I want it all. A mansion, a business, and fancy cars, one for each day of the week. With the tented windows, so you hoes and bros can't peek. And who I'm riding with, I be sipping off the cops. I be talking shh, making faces. The Alps and Jamaica be the faces. I visit for vacation. I want a maid and a butler to be my personal slave. And I would be for those who need help. When I get rich, I won't keep it all to myself. Yo, I need to make a million, have money spilling, God willing, I'm gonna make it. And no man, no government or army will ever take it. Yo, I ain't trying to front. Money is what I want. I'm trying to get rich, yo. When I come outside, I'm gonna see oak trees, not bottles, bums, and bags of debris. Yo, I need to make a million. Yo, I want to be rich so I can hit every bit in the land. I want to find a cure for AIDS so I can stay laid. But I want to stay paid, but I want to be wealthy with my financial worries. I want to be buried in a tomb near a lagoon or pond. I wish I had a magic wand. And with one wave, my troubles would be gone. And I walk close to me, whatever shed I did. 1970 was a good year, I know because that's the year I was born. My mom's name is Dark, which is the device that drove all our money makeup. And it wasn't that night, so I was destined to have cash right from the start. And when my mom died, you know it broke my heart, because I was barely paying the rent. So now my time is spent fighting, scheming, and dreaming of hitting it big, one plan after another. So for me, my family, and my mother, yo, I need to make a million. That's what I'm talking about, yo. I ain't trying to die broke, you know what I'm saying? So check it out, yo. I need to make a million, have money spilling, God willing, I'm gonna make it. And no man, no army or government is ever gonna take it. Yo, I ain't trying to front. Money is what I want. I wanna be rich so when I come outside, I can see oak trees, not bottles, bums.
Young and Bags of Debris. You know what I'm saying? That city like yo, I need to make a million. I don't want to die poor in Baltimore. I want a mansion on the eastern shore or Ocean City. Have me a nice beach house so I can ride everyone over and we can get down. Pound for pound, I'll take Frank, Peso, whatever. I just need a million. Bro, Jerry, what a one man show with a remix. I'm gonna let this play out. You in the back of the cab, when you know your head to this, I'm out. Hello, everybody. This is the e-bike life of Minister Brother Derek. You can see right now I am riding the Pasolet GS9 Plus, the Motherlode, the Queen of the Hill. Why do we call her the Queen of the Hill? Because this is the only 26-inch, 4-inch wide fat tire bike that has full suspension a 750 watt motor that can peak at well over 1100 nine speed shifter not that mickey mouse hydraulic car like brakes 14.5 amp hour battery seven hundred and fifty watt motor that peaks at well over eleven hundred and you seeing me ride her right now. The first video was of me riding her. This is the queen of the hill. This is a $2,000 e-bike. I can get you this bike for $14.99. Matter of fact, let me, if I may, Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. It's already the tenth of the month now. We got. It's gonna take a week to get it. I want this bike for Christmas. Not the one I'm riding, cause I already got one. I want this bike. Let me get a little bit of music going on here. Shouldn't be chewing this gum. I apologize to y'all. First time we use the OBS in a while. This is my homemade music, so don't need to worry about copyrights. I compose this music. The reason for this video, I think you can turn that volume down, son. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, just checking my audience. I should have done this earlier. My fault, y'all. It's 1.42 in the morning, so I don't expect nobody to be here, but it's okay. But let's get to it. Why are we here? I want this bike. I 
what's so special about this bike? Some of y'all are saying. Look at it. It's got 20 inch, four inch wide fat tires. Look at that heavy duty rack. I can't wait to go to the market. I can really load my panty bags up. This bike got a 330 pound weight limit. I'm only 275. So that's great for me. It's got a 12 amp hour battery. I didn't stutter, I set a 12 amp hour battery. Most foldables have a 10.4. The electric XP only has a 9.6. This is a 12 amp hour battery. It's got a 750 watt motor that can peak at almost 1100 watts. Now I have the PS5, the bike that just updated. The 500 watt motor that peaks at 800. And let me tell you, I think. The PS5 is the best 500 watt motorbike out there. I'll put it up against anybody. I've been able to hit 34 on it. On my speed test. This bike, I know I can hit 40 on it. On my speed test. Got a more powerful motor. It's got the hydraulic brake. It got an 8 speed Altus Shimano shifter. Not a turning, it got an Altus. Color display. And if you notice, there's a wire going back to the tail light behind the rack. When you hit the brakes, it lights up to let everybody know that you're slowing down. So that's good for a safety issue. Because I ride with the cars. I don't ride on the sidewalk. I don't just ride it to a park and ride it around. This is my vehicle. Now, the seller that Pestilex says, if I can sell 15 bikes, they'll send me one. But well, we sold three. I haven't talked to them in a couple days. We might have sold some more. I don't know. But I know December 25th is getting down to the wire. But I need people to use my coupon. This is the bike that I want. Let me get you the link for it. Alright, hold on a second. We on the OBS, we not on uh, stream yards. A little bit different. There's my coupon code. Let me show you what you do with it. They asking $15.99. Put my coupon code in. $12.99. So some of y'all are saying, I need 15 of y'all to buy a bike. And they'll give me one. We got three so far. We need 
explore more. Help me out. Buy this bike. $12.99. For all them features, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. $12.99. If that's too much money for you, and you don't need all those features. But let me tell you about this bike, because I own it. It comes in white, but I have the black version. And some of y'all are saying, this looks just like the bike you just showed me. Well, the bike I just showed you was the update. I have this bike right now, and I can tell you, this bike is good. This bike is reliable, it's excellent. I love it. I just want the premium features. Cause see, I could be good with just this bike. I can go watch TV or something. Hold on, if Rashad asked the question. How you doing, Rashad? Welcome to the show. Rashad says, do you have any foldables? He says, I need a sunbather also, one with a hand crank, and looks like a golf cart. I don't know what a sunbather is, but yes, uh, I just showed you the Padalette PS6. I'm trying to earn that one right now. This one I have. This is the Padalette PX5. I bought this with my stimulus money earlier this year. And I'm telling you, it, I was 293 pounds. Thanks to the e-bike, I'm down to 275. But this bike carried me everywhere and never complained. I got videos up of me riding this bike for three hours straight. And not having it cut off or stop or hiccup or anything. That's why I went to PS6. This is the 5. If the 5 is that good, how much better is the 6 with the premium options? Instead of the 500 watt motor that peaks at almost 800, imagine having a 750 watt that peaks at almost 1100. If this bike rack is dependable, look at the heavy duty rack that's on the PS6. I think you can put a person back there as long as you don't go over 340 pounds, that bike will take you wherever you want to go. Especially with that 300, I'm sorry, with that uh, 1100 watt peak motor. But check this out. I wouldn't advise nobody to put a seat on the back of this bike because it has seat post suspension. The PS6 has frame, full frame suspension, which means if you do put a seat cushion at the back of the bike and have somebody ride, you can add some foot pegs for their feet. They can ride behind you. They'll get the same benefit of the suspension because it's frame suspension, not seat post suspension. See, that seat post suspension will benefit your behind. It won't benefit the behind of the person riding behind you. So if you plan on riding somebody, you want to put a baby seat back there, toddler seat, whatever you are planning to do, get the PS6. The more powerful motor, the more torque for going uphill, the hydraulic brake, which is safer always with children. You always want hydraulic brakes. They're better than the mechanical disc brakes. If you just want something to ride around on and take you from point A to point B, take you on your errands, you can't beat this. I can get you this bike for $9.99 in seven days or less. No tax, just $9.99. No shipping charges, just $9.99. I can get you this bike if you use my coupon. They'll send this bike to your doorstep. $9.99. Let me get you the link. Put it in the chat. Now, I just showed you the two foldables that I have coupons for. Let me put the coupon in. Put it there, PX5. Now, like I say, I own this bike. I can tell you, it's damn good. There's the coupon code. Let me show you what you do with it. You scroll down to buy it now. They have 20 of them in stock right now. What you waiting on? 
They asking eleven ninety nine. Put my coupon code in there nine ninety nine. So if you want, if you satisfied with the basic features, mechanical disc brakes, seven speed shifter, five hundred watt motor that peaks at almost eight hundred, ten point four amp hour battery, Mickey Mouse shifter, front and rear headlights. If you satisfied with the basics, nine ninety nine. $9.99, damn good bike. I'll show you a video of me riding in a moment, but $9.99, you can't beat that. But if you can afford, I know it's 300 more dollars, but to get the, it's about the features. Do you want the features? Do you want the Toyota to sell or do you want the Toyota Supra? Which one do you want? This is the Supra. The PS6 is the Supra with the foldables. I'm personally trying to earn. I'm not doing this for money. I want to earn this bike. You can see that they are, they're asking $15.99. If I would have had my coupon when we got the stimulus in mid-April, I would have bought this bike. But instead, I got the PX5. Do I regret buying the PX5? No, I don't. Because I know if the PX5 is that good, this bike is better. Because it got the hydraulic brakes instead of the mechanical disc brakes. Instead of a seat post suspension. And that works fine. This got full frame suspension front and rear. Look at that heavy duty rack. I've never had a problem with the rack on the PX5, but look at how thick the rack is on that. The battery. I bought, I sold enough bikes to be able to buy a battery and I bought a spare battery for my PX5. I bought an 11.6 amp hour battery and it lasts a long time. This comes with a 12 amp hour battery. So you get a bigger battery, you get hydraulic brakes, you get a thick rack, you get a 750 watt motor that can peak at almost 1100 watts. You get an eight-speed Altus, not tiny, but an Altus Shimano shifter. Upgrades. This is the upgrade to my PX5. That's why I went. This is the upgrade. It's like buying the Toyota Corolla, and then stepping up to a Toyota Supra or the Toyota Camry. It's the upgrade. $12.99. $300 difference. Would you rather have the features? Or are you cheap and you just, okay, whatever is whatever. Either way, both of these bikes, the PX5 or this PS6 you're looking at, you can't go wrong. I got a hundred videos of me up riding the PX5. I live in Baltimore City. Google it. See how many hills we have in Baltimore City. You either going up or you're going down. And 90% of the time when you're going downhill, you hit a red light. You'll hear me fussing about it. Red light stop sign, red light stop sign. You go uphill, go uphill. You finally get to go downhill. Wee! There go a stop sign. Wee! There go a red light. There go uphill again. You need this 1100 watts of power to get up and down the hills. If you live in the flatlands, it don't matter what bike you get. If you live in the hills like I do, the 500 watt is great. But this 750 watt is greater. And I can't wait to get one. I can't wait to get one. Those are our foldables. The PS6 and the PX5. You got a choice, $9.99 or $12.99 if you use my coupons. For those of you who don't want a foldable, Rashid just asked about the foldables. We was on them. Now let's get to the mountain bikes. Cause see, you can look at these bikes, you can tell that they e-bikes. Let me take it to you. 
Check out this bike right here. This is the Paxelec GS9. Isn't that bike beautiful? That's an electric bike. It don't look like it. That's an electric bike. And I got a deal for you. This bike look like it could be hanging in Dick Sporting Goods. That's how good this bike look. Most people don't know what's an e-bike. This is, we call this the Jam Brady. Because just like Jam Brady on the show, this is the middle child. This bike has everything that you would want on a bike. It's got 27 and a half, 2.8 inch wide tires. The new electric XP has three inch tires. This got 2.8 inches, but the XP tire is only 20 inches. This is 27. This is a mountain bike. This mountain bike has full suspension. And when you see the shock, look at the frame. It all flex when you hit a bump. The carry on bumps for you. Full flex frame suspension. It's got an eight-speed Shimano shifter. It's got a color display. It got hydraulic brakes. It got a 13 amp hour battery. Front and rear lighting. This is the Mugaloo. It would be if it didn't have a sibling. I'm about to show you in a minute. This would be the Mugaloo. Look at how beautiful that bike is. And it doesn't just come in this color. Check this color out. That bike is gorgeous. You can talk to me all day. That e-bike is gorgeous. And there ain't nothing that says e-bike. If you put a rack on it and put some pannier bags on the side, Nobody will know you have an e-bike. They will have to bend down and look. Personally, I think they're putting fenders or a rack on it make it look tatty. But you know, if you're going to go ride in the mud and go ride in the, you know, you're going to be jumping in the sand and riding over tree stumps and riding through streams, you might want to get some fenders. You can go on Amazon and get some for 10 bucks. I wouldn't put 10 buck fenders on this beautiful bike though. I'll spend, you know, maybe 30, 40 dollars to try to get something, you know, but the bike is sexy. I ride in the street. I take these bikes like you would take a car somewhere. But every once in a while, we get up on the sidewalk. Sometimes we go ride through the grass. Sometimes we be on the street where it's not conducive to have the bike on there and we had to get on the sidewalk and we have to go ride in people's yards to go around people, you know. Good to have suspension. It's good to have big tires. These tires are not only big, they're almost three inches wide. This right here is a winner. This bike is a winner. Let me get you the link for it. And then I can tell you what you can do with my coupon. And save yourself some money. Let me put this link in here. I think that's the prettiest bike that we have. That green and black. It ain't gray, it's black. I don't know what that lightning they use, but uh, it's green and black. And it's beautiful. I think it's the most beautiful bike I've ever seen. And that's my personal opinion. I've got plenty of videos up that say it. Let me copy it so I can show you. There's the link in the chat. Should be going above my head. It's also in the chat. Let me show you what you do with it. Scroll on down here. We only got two of that black and green left. We only got two of them left. Y'all better get on it. Y'all know how the boats is um, backed up in California? Y'all better get on it. It's two left. Let me see how many of the orange and green is left. 
I'm sorry, the gray and orange. Oh, we got 60. Ooh, wait a minute. We have a problem here. We have 60 of the grand orange. See, 60 units, but we only got two of the black and green. And I know, cause I know, cause I sold two of them in the past 10 days. Especially with this coupon code I got, cause you can see they're asking 14.99. They're asking $14.99 for all those features. Guess what? Use my coupon. You can get this bike for $11.99. $11.99. That is a steal. You can get this bike for $11.99. I didn't stutter. I said $11.99. Our friends. Any other time, it pop right up. Here it is, right here, the Pass Select GS9. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the GS9 from oh, Pass no, Let's check it out. And green. We got two left. Here's what I can tell you right off the bat. The Passelec GS9 is a value e-bike. It's not as fancy as those name brand full suspension electric mountain bikes that cost many thousands of dollars, but it's also not designed to be. This is a full suspension e-bike that is meant for recreational riders, not someone flying five feet in the air. For me, this is the kind of e-bike that I can enjoy taking off-road and getting a good, fun, and comfortable ride in. The bike has decent front and rear suspension, though certainly not good enough for pro-level riding. But if you're just looking to enjoy some medium difficulty trails, this will definitely do it for you. It's got enough power to have some real fun too. That rear motor is a 500 watt unit and it runs on a 48 volt system, so this isn't some weak e-bike. It can get up to around 25 miles an hour or 40 kilometers per hour easy, and it's tons of fun to ride like that. Some budget e-bikes feel pretty scary at the top speed, but the Passelec GS9 is well put together and it feels just as good going fast as it does at more moderate speeds. You also get the option of both pedal assist and throttle, so you can run through 8 gears in the Shimano transmission when you want to pedal, or you can just rip on the throttle for some seriously fun riding too. They claim a max range of up to 50 miles or 80 kilometers on a charge, but that's in pedal assist level 1, and probably with the PSI and those 27.5 inch tires pumped up to near bursting. In reality, I'd say 20 miles on throttle or 30 to 40 miles on pedal assist are your more realistic max ranges. The battery is a 48 volt and 13 amp hour unit for 624 watt hours, making it decently large, but not huge. I also really like that the battery is integrated into the down tube, which prevents it from being a dead giveaway for an e-bike. Stealthy electric bikes like this are nice because they don't look as valuable as an obvious e-bike, and they also don't raise eyebrows in areas where some people aren't as kind to e-bikes. Now a lot of people don't like when the battery is built into the down tube because it's not removable. That means you can't take it out for charging and replacing it in the future could be an issue. But with the GS9 Pro, they've actually solved that by making the battery removable. It's just a little bit awkward to do it. The keyhole is down here at the bottom and so you'd unlock it like you would a normal battery. The only problem is you don't have enough space, which means you gotta do something awkward like or lay the bike on its side or get in some sort of weird contorted position. It is an improvement upon batteries that are just solidly built into the down tube, but it's kind of a weird way to pull the battery out. When it comes to quality, the Passelec GS9 is a value e-bike and so it does make a few compromises. The suspension is not top-notch, but it feels fine for me for all sorts of basic and mid-level riding. Plus, the seat is actually quite comfortable thanks to its extra padding. It's a wider seat, so it's, you know, not one of those narrow saddles designed for super efficient pedaling, but for anyone who's not a pro athlete, it feels great and I really enjoyed it. The spiderweb pattern is a bit weird, but hey, what can you do? Other parts are pretty nice too. 
like the 180 millimeter disc brakes with hydraulic calipers, giving you crisp, powerful stopping force and allowing convenient one finger braking. There's even a front headlight that runs off the main battery, though the rear light in the saddle unfortunately uses its own swappable batteries, meaning they'll eventually die and need replacement. The lights are nice for road use since they're not particularly powerful for lighting up a trail, and anyone who does real mountain biking at night will be adding an external high lumen light anyways. To sum it all up, the Pasolek GS9 is a value e-bike, and it falls right in the middle of the scale. It's priced at between $14.29 to $16.99 depending where you buy it. That will probably make budget shoppers claim it's too expensive, and real mountain bikers say it's too cheap. But it feels pretty Goldilocks zone to me. I've ridden really cheap electric mountain bikes, and it doesn't feel like those. But it also doesn't match the high-end e-bikes I've ridden now, he either. Said, it's a compromise, but a He said $14.99 to $16.99. <coughs> he just heard Micah from Electric say that. I can get you this bike for eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. But I got one, one more bike to show you. One more bike to show you. This is the Queen of the Hill. Now, I just showed you the Pasolet GS9. We call it Jam Brady. Well, this is the Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Why would Jam Brady, the GS9, the bike that you just saw Michael ride for you? Why would she look up to this bike? Well, if you don't know, you're blind. Look at them 26 inch, 4 inch wide fat tires. That's the first thing that should catch your mind. What's the second thing? Instead of a 13 amp hour battery, it has a 14.5 amp hour battery. So I got a bigger battery. But let's look at the two bikes. You just saw Michael ride the GS9. The link and everything is in the description. But also take a look. What makes this bike separate? Because they both got hydraulic car like brakes. They both got the same suspension, front and rear. The GF9 that you just saw Micah riding has an 8-speed Shimano shifter. This has a 9-speed. Now, they both got the same frame. They got the same suspension. But this got one more gear and a shifter, a 9-speed instead of an 8-speed Shimano. This got a bigger battery. It's got a 26-inch, 4-inch wide fat tires. It's, they both got color displays. This one is more updated and easy to use. But the real difference is in the motor. The bike that you saw Michael riding, the GS9, the Jam Brady, she has a 500 watt motor that peaks between 750 and 800 watts. This is a 750 watt motor that peaks between 1050 and 1100 watts. This makes her the queen of the hill. Don't look like an e-bike. 26 inch, look at them fat tires. 14 and a half amp hour battery. Nine speed shifter. She got a 750 watt motor that peaks at almost 1100 watts. Hydraulic brakes. What more could you ask for on the e-bike? That's everything you need. I don't know why Micah didn't review this bike. He should have reviewed the Plus. Not the regular GS9, but the GS9 Plus. He definitely would have went off-roading with this. Look at how beautiful this bike is. And it got a powerful motor, a powerful battery. A 9-speed shifter, 26-inch. Let me tell you something. I have this bike. They sent me one. It wasn't perfect. They got problems with it when they sent me. But let me tell you something.
They sent me this bike and they had a wire loose. I tried to put it back the best I could and I I got it to run. But I think this was a customer return, but I ain't complaining because I ain't paid for it. They sent it to me to show it to y'all. And I showed it to you. But I'm going to tell you something. As much as I love my PX5, and I was on it last night. This bike is a pleasure to ride. The one they sent me, I didn't pay for, so I can't complain. But when you buy one, it's going to be in excellent, perfect condition. Hey, the bike they sent me that I paid for is perfect. But get this. Even though this bike cuts out on steep hills with me because there's something wrong with it, I still will ride it then ride the PX5. The 999 e-bike doesn't give me no problems. But I don't get the compliments that I do on this bike when I'm on the 999. The 999 is more dependable going uphill because of the smaller tires, 20 inch versus having 26 inch. It's more dependable going uphill. I still rather ride this bike. People ask me all the time. I did a video of where I went to the market days ago. About four days ago. Young people were walking by and they were looking at it. And they were debating. The guy kept trying to tell the girl, that's an electric bike. And she was like, no, it's not. Ain't nothing hanging off of it. There ain't no controls. There ain't no battery. People don't think this is an electric bike. Unless you fly by them doing 28 miles per hour, they not going to know. This is an e-bike with all that power and looks like a regular bike with just fat tires on it. This looks like a regular bike with just fat tires on it. That's the biggest appeal. Because you can tell me about all these other bike companies. But number one, they're not going to give you no rear suspension. That's number one. And you can start naming them. You can start naming them, and I'll tell you, they're not going to give you rear suspension, number one. And number two, with the battery and the controller hanging out, it's going to let the bike thieves know, hey, that's that electric bike. It's going to let everybody know, even the police know. Here in Maryland, it's illegal to ride an e-bike on the sidewalk. I ride on the sidewalk. I got panga bags to hide the motor. So the cops don't know. When I see a cop, I start pedaling. They don't know the difference. Especially when I'm riding this. It don't look like an e-bike. I haven't got pulled over not one time on either of my e-bikes. When I see a cop, I start pedaling. I always got my helmet on. I always have four headlights. I always have two tail lights. Never had a bike stolen. I put a lock on the front wheel, a lock on the frame, and a lock on the rear wheel, and I use an alarm. I've seen people look at the bike, because I keep the camera on there, 360 degrees. And we watch the people look at the bike. It's part of my show. We actually watch the people look at the bike. I make it part of the show. But they can't take it. Because it's too much work. And that's the point. You can buy the fanciest lock, but if it's only one lock, they only got to break one lock. Give them three or four locks. Nobody won't even bother with that. They won't be quick. If there's a bike at the bike rack, and they got one lock on it, and it's a bike right next to it, even if it's worth twice the money, if it got three or four locks on it and an alarm, you're trying to get out of that fast. What you going to do? You're going to get the one lock and go. That's too much work for somebody to see you 
trying to break something with some bolt cutters or see you trying to use a, a hacksaw to saw it open three times. I had a cop pull up while I was taking the bike off the other night and looking at me. The cop was looking at me unchained my own bike. I was glad too. I was like, yeah, at least the police looking. At least they were looking. Shout out to the Baltimore City Police Department. Because they were looking. This is the queen of the hill right here. This got everything you want in the e-bike. And you can go look at other ones. Some people might give you a bigger battery instead of a 14 and a half. Some might give you a 16 or a 17. And I can give you no rear suspension. They give you rear suspension, they're going to give you the Mickey Mouse shifter. They're not going to give you the updated nine speed shifter. If they gonna, I ain't seen one that had a nine speed shifter other than this one. There might be one, y'all let me know. They're definitely not gonna give you the, they give you the hydraulic brakes. They're gonna try and give you a 500 watt motor. Nobody's gonna give you the package. This is the package. I don't know why they don't promote this bike. This is the package. This is everything you want in the e-bike. And it's not expensive. The bike we showed you, micro riding, I can get you that bike for eleven ninety nine. But if you want, if you want the Mercedes, if you want the Lamborghini, then you're gonna want this bike. Let me get you the code real quick. Put it in the chat. This is my coupon code. Cause see, they're asking sixteen ninety nine for this e bike. They got ten of them ready to go. They got ten of them ready to go. Be at your door seven days or less. No tax on your sale. You only pay what my coupon says. Get it in seven days. No shipping costs. No sales tax. They'll pay your sales tax. Let me show you what my coupon code will do for you to get you the mother load, to get you the queen of the hill. I can get you this bike for $14.99. Micah said the GS9 was $14.99. This is the GS9 Plus. Nine speed shift, the 750 watt motor, 26 inch, four inch wide fat tires, 14.5 amp hour motor. You can get this bike for $14.99. The same price that Micah said to get the other bike for. Micah said to get this bike for $14.99. I can get you this bike for $11.99 with my coupon within seven days. But if you want the 750 watt motor, if you want the bigger battery, if you want the nine speed shifter, if you want instead of 2.8 inch wide tires, you want four inch wide tires, then you can kick out the $300. See, we have a cheaper bike, an economic bike. We have a bike with all of the features. I've shown you the foldables, the PX5. $9.99. But $12.99 will get you the 750 watt motor, get you the hydraulic brakes, get you the HP Alter Shifter, the upgrades, color display. What, what, what do you want? What do you want? I got the deals here. You can get a foldable for $9.99. For those of you thinking about getting an electric XP, I'm sorry, Bessie is better. I can get you this for $9.99. Electric wants you to pay for 
the suspension seat post. It comes standard on this bike. It comes standard. You don't have to buy nothing. All you gotta do is charge it up. You unfold it out the box. I got an unfolding video up on the e-bike like by disabled channel. This bike is good. Let me show you how good. Let me come back to the OBS. Actually, I could have stayed right there. Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go to YouTube. My e bike life while disabled. A lot of people don't like this channel. Because I say some stuff that's the truth. The people mad though. Look at all these videos I got up. But let me show you this in real time. So let's do I didn't notice this while we were doing the video. I didn't notice it. But hang on a sec. We gonna take a look. Cause we got a 500 watt motor to hit 35 miles per hour. That really looks tacky. I should have put up a. Uh, <laughs> now, if your bike screen. can do that, then prove it. Post a video up, or somebody send me that bike, and we'll see. I'm still waiting. But let's take a look. <laughs> Speed test. All right, y'all, here we go. Speed test. We're doing a speed test early. Keep hurting. Somebody always got to get in the way. Every time we do the speed test, somebody always got to get in the way. 31, 32. Hey, behind you, behind you. 33. 34. Oh, I hit the pause button. It didn't pause. Oh, you know you're wrong for that. You know you're wrong for that. I ain't gonna say nothing. Come on. Hey, behind you, behind you. Okay. There it is, 34. There it is right there. 34 miles per hour. You notice that the speedometer nine, 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 that comes on the bike, bike it stopped at 30.6. But we hit But it stayed correct four. with the odometer the whole way until we approach 30.6. Is that a limit that they set? Because they stayed the same the whole way. I know somebody's gonna say something about that and you're gonna get defeated. That's the cool nicks at from the Android Play Store. People use this app when they odometer break in their car. People use this app on their dirt bikes. Very highly rated app. Very accurate. For some reason, the, the speedometer stops at 30.6 on the bike. And you notice, it stayed with it all the way up to 30.6 and then the odometer stopped. That's why we carry two odometers. We carry two cameras. We carry two odometers because we want to be beyond reproach. So when y'all start whining in the comment sections, you're going to get dissected. You're going to get cut up. But this is a 500-watt e-bike. 
their peaks between 750 and 1,000 watts. Let's see it again. Let's gun it. This is the Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. The Pest Select GS9 Look at them fat tires. Let's see that again. Notice both odometers stay the same. So you can't say. So a certain point. But they stop for some reason. So for all you haters out there, I want y'all to understand something. The odometer on the PX5, Bessie stopped at 30.6. This bike stopped at 33.6. Did y'all notice that? Can we show it again? Because I know somebody ain't going to call up hating. But let's hit it. Both odometers are the same. Look at it. It's stopping at 33.6. All right, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Okay. My helmet trying to come off my head. Now let's show it. In, let's show it in full speed. Then we gonna gun it. I'm telling y'all, riding this bike and like, man. And like I say, this is me. You're closer to a motorcycle. <laughs> let's get it. In real time, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, y'all. Listen to that yeah, we motor. Listen to the 1100 watts of power. Listen. So that means I've shown you both bikes that I have in my possession. That's still a good deal at eleven ninety nine. But if you want the 750 watt, if you want that 1100 watt peak, it's that bike for 999. You can't beat it. I haven't set this up on the OB, OBS yet, but hold on a sec. Where's the window capture? Window capture. We're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna call this Windows Media. That's what I call it. Windows Media Player. Let's call it Windows Media. I'm setting this up, give me a second, y'all. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one. Let me cancel that. My bad, remove. That's the wrong source, hold on. 
display capture. That's what I want. Windows Media. We just call it Windows Media because when we first started, that's what we was using. There you go. This show you everything. All right, let's set it up. What are we using? We're using um, 1920 by 1080, right? So let's bring myself back in. If y'all look above my head, you see all four of the bikes. That I'm promoting. Let's go to Windows Media. All right, it's on. Let's go to videos. And let's get it. And then we can hit uh, 37. I went into the settings. I don't know if she can do 65 miles hour, but let's see. Look at how well lit we are. We're waiting for the light to change. And then we're going to gun it. See, we got All two more dominoes. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, y'all. Here we beat it. Look at my face. And then you add it, right? 
Where's Pigstaff? Am I doing it right? There it is. No, I made a duplicate. Where did they duplicate? There it is. All right, excuse me. I'm used to being on the uh, stream yards. I just wanted to look at y'all face to face. I'm not nobody special. I'm just a man on disability. Just not satisfied to ride around in a mobility scooter. I remember when I was young, we used to make fun of people riding around in a mobility scooter. Young folk was stupid. We used to make fun of people riding the yellow school bus. We called it the cheese bus. But those people on that school bus, they had a seat for themselves. We would have to stand up on the MTA bus. They had a seat waiting for them, no matter what day, what was going on. They had a seat that was for them. Why are we laughing at them? Well, they do it. I don't want nobody laughing at me. Look how funny I look. Do I really need? I'm luckily that I'm routed. And spirituality, I only care about what Jesus and God think. Don't care what no human being think because they can't get me off this plane. We're not going to turn this into a religious show, but I'm just making a point. You want the respect of your peers. You want the respect of your children and your grandchildren. Let them see you fly around on one of these bikes instead of sitting in a power chair or sitting in a mobility scooter. Let them see you. Invite them out and go for bike rides. Spend time with your family members instead of sitting in front of the TV watching YouTube or Roku or Hulu. Hulu Hoopy. Get out and see your neighborhood. Get out and see your city. I got videos of me riding my bike all around my city. Because see, before I got an e-bike, I was trapped by however far my heart would let me go. Back in 2017, when they told me not to drive anymore, I had to let my car go. If I would have known that there's not really nothing close to me, that even though I'm in the inner city, there really ain't much. Now, everything is about a mile. When you got a weak heart, a, a mile is a long way. Let me tell you, it's a long way. To go to the market, it's a mile. To go to the pharmacy, it's a mile. To go to the pharmacy or to go to the family dollar takes me into the hood. When you cross 25th Street toward North Avenue, I call that the hood. It's at the farthest point of where I'm going, which means I'm at the weakest. Very dangerous. When I got my first bike, it became less dangerous. I got my second bike, it became a breeze to go to the pharmacy. To go to the market, I got to scale of three hills. When I got the Pascalec PX5, we got Bessie, hills don't mean nothing. I'm riding Marshall. The hill don't mean that much. That's what these bikes do. They gave me freedom. Instead of being able to go 
I went from being able to go 0.9 miles to be able to go two miles. Now I can go 20 miles each way. And when I earn this PS6, I'm gonna be able to go 25 to 30 miles each way on one battery. So I went from only being able to go at a circle, 0.9 miles. When I get this PS6, I'm going to be able to go 30 miles each way. That's an upgrade. That's an update. That's an improvement. It's letting me see more of my city. Instead of being stuck in the same neighborhood. People that become disabled. They very seldom go two, three blocks from where they live every day. Only if they have to go to the doctors. Only if they have to go to the pharmacy. Or go to the market. That's the only time they leave a two block radius of wherever they live in at. Whether it be a home, a building, wherever they live in at. They don't go nowhere. Get yourself one of these e-bikes. All you got to do is charge it and get on it. Charge it. You ain't got to sit and wait for the mobility bus. You don't need an elevator. Because you're in the power chair and you live upstairs. You need an elevator. You got to break that thing down and then carry it. Them power chairs are heavy. I had a chance to get a power chair. Glad I didn't. I got a mobility scooter. It got this big battery. Big battery. It's lead. Thing wouldn't even take me to the doctors. It wouldn't even take me to the doctors. You know how many videos I got of me getting stranded just going to the market and the market is only a mile away but it says it can go eight miles. Can't carry a 300 pound person eight miles. I got videos that prove it. But these e-bikes, they take me. And they take me fast. When I used to walk that mile to the market, it would take me an hour and a half. I get on either Bessie or Marsha. The Pastor like PS6 or the GS9 Plus. I'm there in 10 minutes or less. Sometimes five or six minutes if I hit the lights. That's a difference. You can talk to me all day. I'm very passionate about my life since I've got a Pastor like e-bike. And I want other people. Because I see you when I'm riding. I see you. Riding around in power chairs. Looking like you crippled. Looking like you, you just waiting to die. I see you in the mobility scooters. Where do you think the young folk look at you? They see a target. They think you can't walk. They think you can't defend yourself. I'm surprised many young folk when they see me bounce out of my mobility chair. They look I'm like, hey, I thought you were crippled. Uh, well, how are you getting up? People have been surprised. I've had 70, 80 year old people look at me and say, I just saw you ride that bike up here. Why are you in the market riding around on a power chair? I look at him and I say, you would kill for my legs. But guess what? I would kill for your heart. Now, if you want to make an exchange, I love to have your heart. You take mine. They shut up. Because then they understand. 
Looks can be deceiving. I already know in any kind of altercation, I got about 28 seconds. 28 seconds before I'm gassed out. What job can you work? I thought a job was eight hours. How can you work for 28 seconds and get paid? What job will let you extend yourself for 28 seconds and do nothing for the other seven hours? 59.28 seconds. What job you now? Not even telemarketing. Because you might get into an argument with somebody on the phone. I can drop dead on you. But I can get out here and ride these e-bikes. They do 90%. Actually, they do 95% of the work. All I got to do is balance and keep it up right. And watch the potholes. And let me tell you, you got fat tires, you ain't got to worry about the potholes. For them people that's riding around on them mobility scooters with them little tires, those of you riding around, them power chairs with them little tires, them little tires give you torque. But they don't help you to go over curbs. They don't help you going over a stump. They don't help you with big potholes. You actually might get dumped over on your head. That's why I like the foldable. The foldable is the middle ground. You get the four inch wide fat tire, but it's only 20 inches. But Marsha's 26 inch tire is like riding on pillows. You don't even care about the bumps. You just look for the traffic and look for somebody to get in front of you. You don't even look for the potholes. When I'm on the foldable with the 20 inch fat tires, I do look out for the big potholes, but not just the potholes, just the big ones. I look for the big potholes and the big cuts in the street. When I'm on the GS9 Plus, I don't even consider it. I'm not looking for no potholes. I don't care what I hit. I got them fat tires. But if I'm riding a, one of them stand up scooters that people are riding around on, Man, you hit a pothole, you don't get thrown. You might get thrown in right into a car or a bus. Nah. Nah, I don't want them little tires. And like I say, you chain it up. When I go to the pharmacy, I take the bike in and I chain it up inside the store. I ain't been a family dollar and I don't know how long. Matter of fact, I, have, I don't think I've been to Family Dollar since I've got the e-bikes. But one day we're going to go in there and I'm going to chain the bike up and we're going to leave the camera on it and we're going to see if somebody tries to steal it. Like I said, I haven't been to that one in a while. But where the cart says, I go chain it up. You know, I'll use the U-lock or I'll use the thick chain and I'll chain it up and put the alarm on it and we'll see if somebody going to try to steal it. And I like being able, you know, if I'm out of sight of it, I'll just hit the alarm and I know it's still there. I went to the pharmacy one time. <clears throat> I left two phones and a 360 degree camera on the handlebars. And if you watch the video, you'll hear the security guard say, yeah, you bold. You sat there and, and left everything. I said, yeah. I said, well, you watching the nature? Don't you got a gun on your hip? He like, well, you know, I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> Oh, Lord, here come one of them bots. Why don't you get a life? Let me go ahead and get this bot out of here.
Matter of fact, let, let me copy this before I do it. Give me a second, y'all. Let me get, show y'all how to get rid of a bot. All right, now you copy it. Okay, now let's block her. Bye bye. B -b bye bye. Now, for those of y'all that's wondering what I just did, let me show you how we how you get rid of bots. Let's come back. Because not only did we get rid of the bot, okay? I wonder if, if, if you can do it here. Hold on a sec. We haven't been here in a while. Put that on live chat. Let me see if we can do that here. If you go to manage moderators. Will that let you do it? It's been a while, y'all. Can we go to community? <laughs> Yes, you can. All right, let's scroll down. Block words, scroll down. Now, let's put the block word in. Paste, see that? And hit save. Look at that, we got 48 copyrights, got done. Any of them new? Is there any of them new? Can I get rid of something? Trim out segment while I'm here. Continue. Merry Christmas. This is from last Christmas. We getting a, a copyright from last Christmas? Damn, somebody trying to get that Christmas money. Somebody trying to get that Christmas money. Los Bells. Dubstep MC. I guess I was playing some Christmas music last Christmas on the show. All right, we clean that up. What about this one? Clean that up. We clean that up. Okay. We clean that up. Okay. All right, let me out of here. Actually, you can let me out. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. For those of y'all that don't know how to deal with bots, because these bots are popping up, and I heard that um, if you click on them bots, I heard that if you click on them, that, that they, it releases malware into your system. And they can get your um, social security number and your, your banking and credit card information off your computer and cell phone. So we don't play with the bots. We don't play with them at all. But y'all, I'm being serious. I would like to get a PS6 before the end of the year. I would like to get a PS6 before the end of the year. And this is the reason while I'm here. I want this bike. It comes in green also. I don't know what's going on with this thing here. They put these they, they put up these new pictures. Here it is in green. Now I want the black one, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean if if, if I can only get a green one, I'll take it. This is the e-bike that I want. This is the Passelette PS6. <clears throat> I want this e-bike. Full suspension. Look at that heavy duty rack. 12 amp hour battery. Hydraulic brakes. 